Um, first things first, um, I will make sure that the likes of Bob Risky, Bob Risky in particular, will not do a public display of him caressing and touching a man on social media again. I will make sure, I'll go to the end of the earth to make that happen. I can bet anybody any amount and it will happen in this country. Number two, yesterday, as I was about to make a post about Bob Risky, Somebody that I respect very much sent me this post. Especially the young people, when you see policemen, you get irritated. You get offended that before you even get to the police people, you already start acting rude. You know, be nice to the policemen. Okay? He sent me this post where I was saying that the youth she respects the police and they should be nice to the policemen. And he went on saying, very dark man, I am very disappointed in you because you are the person that is saying they should respect the police, but you are not disrespecting the bosses of the police. You are disrespecting them and you are disrespecting the DIGs and you claim to be a role model to the youth and you want the youth to listen to you but you are disrespecting these people to be very honest I felt cold and I realized that I've made a very big mistake and I also felt disappointed in myself Hey guys, it has all been about very dark man <laughs> Don't play guys, don't play or you will learn the hard way <laughs> You will learn the hard way if you play so it's like our activist is not learning the hard way because he, he do inform us how we are going to learn the hard way if we play. Now nah, he's learning the hard way. So does it mean that he played wrongly? I mean, what is happening? So I'm just kidding, guys. So many of you that is even fighting online for very dark man do not even know why this man was arrested. Some of you do not even know. Now nah, let me tell you guys something. Very dark man was arrested allegedly by Tonto DK uh Iabojo and Sam Clef. Some of you his fans are the reason why our very old VDM, our activist is not learning the hard way. <laughs> you know, like us <laughs> Because I remember when Very Dark Man started this his talk, he used to be very factual. He, he used to spill nothing but the truth. You know, he doesn't doesn't sugarcoat truth at all. He always say it how it should be. And a lot of people loved him for that. Very Dark Man was advocating for positive things. For positive change he was fighting people that are selling products without navdac he was calling them out with his platform those people who are scamming people online in the name of online vendors he called them out if you have any negative report about any business if you report it to very dark man he's going to call out the business and once someone with a big platform calls out your business negatively on social media my dear you are gone so very dark man started that way fighting journeys go over um selling products without an abduct number and a lot of people are complaining that the that the products used to have some bad effects on them and she went on to arrest a girl very dark man called the lady out and people supported him for that and trust me within a very short space very dark man gained her again huge followers he had the audience you know and coupled with the fact that Tunde not do post him to support him then so very dark man started deviating from the very dark man that people loved when Mubad died. We are talking about a young man that died. Very dark man was more concerned on the paternity of the, oh my God, of Mubad's son. This was the downfall of very dark man. That was when very dark man started doing what? Started losing the love people had for him. Very dark man was so much loved, but immediately he's now. It is not even that he made a video that okay they should do a paternity test since the case is going that way you know but very dark man was continuously making videos every day and any woman who dare say that that okay they should leave the, uh, the public shouldn't talk about a shite paternity it should be left for the family to discuss let's talk about the brutality that mobad faced before his death that is what the public should be talking about because he's a public figure very dark man okay he was just busy talking about paternity 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 but that is when he started losing his fan base a lot of people now start disliking him he went on to start calling women out you know talking down on women yes he talked down on different women that was when very dark man started falling and that is how he had issues with Tonto to decay allegedly they said Tonto to decay Iyabojo and Sam Clef are the people that arrested him. At that Mubad case, very dark man gained fame. He gained fame with that very well. And I don't know if it is fame, 
being posted by different blogs, Tunde Notes, Insta Blog, Ilinda Ikeji, everybody will. They were busy posting very dark man. But one thing he said that we make him to learn the hard way very, very well is that alleging that, uh, that policemen, police GIDs, that they used to sleep with Bob Whiskey. And that is the reason why they have not arrested Bob Whiskey for being gay. You know, in Nigeria, we don't have any law that is against someone dressing any way they want to dress, like being a cross dresser. It's not, it's not against the law, it's not an offense. But being a gay is an offense in Nigeria, it's a crime. So, very dark man alleging that state GIDs are the ones using um, sleeping with Bob Risky. That Bob Risky had a lot of connections. Um, he must have had um, political support, uh, police support, and so many other things he said. And that is the why the state GIDs are sleeping with him, and that is why they don't want to arrest him. So, I want you to watch this video of, Bob, of Very Dark Man apologizing to Nigeria police. Do you think that the Nigerian police, they are going to listen to this? Do you think they are, going, they are going to forgive you because of this? I would like to get your thoughts in the comment section. But guys, don't play. Don't play or you will learn the hard way. <laughs> being very dark man, I am very disappointed in you. Because you are the person that is saying they should respect the police. But you are not disrespecting the bosses of the police. You are disrespecting them and you are disrespecting the DIGs. And you claim to be a role model to the youth. And you want the youth to listen to you. But you are disrespecting these people. To be very honest... I felt cold and I realized that I've made a very big mistake and I also felt disappointed in myself. And now I sincerely apologize to the DIGs of the police. Mr. Olumi, you are the job, you are the PRO of the police, you are the eye of the police. I sincerely apologize to the Nigerian police force. To the senators, to the lawmakers, I sincerely apologize. I am disappointed in myself, but I'm also disappointed in the system. And I'm also disappointed in the lawmakers. And I'm also disappointed in the executive, which are the Nigerian police, another executive that's supposed to execute the laws in Nigeria. Now, we have a law that says that against the same-sex marriage and same-sex showing affection in the public. We all know Bobriski is a man. Even though you say you don't transition, fine and good. Do you understand? There's no law against the transgender. But Bobriski coming online, I want to tell you the dangers of what Bobriski does. Now, let's not even talk about the law. Let's look at the moral and how it will affect the young generation that are coming. Bobriski, we all know he's a man, now he's transgender. According to him, who comes online to come and tell us how he sleeps with a man. How he sleeps with a man and how a man pays him money for it. He will not display cash online. What do you want, sincerely, for people that think, what do you want the younger generation to think about that art? These young, young boys will start thinking, okay, if I start doing me as a boy, as a young boy, if I start wearing girl clothing and I start doing like this, I'll start making money. Already, we, have, we already have a bunch of youths that believe that nobody cares how you make money, just make money. Do you understand? But please keep displaying this thing. It's a danger to the generation that are coming. Take it or leave it. And I am not going to be here and I have the platform. I will not talk against it. I am not a coward. I am not a hypocrite. I will stand up against it. If you like, make it throw me inside jail. If you like, make it cost my breath. But I have taken it upon myself to always speak against the ill of the society. And I will never stop doing it.